Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. So let's see what you guys need to know in love today. Let's get your energy here first. Your Virgos need to concentrate on the Six of Swords. So um, you could be uh, you could be getting out of a situation that was very difficult for you. Deciding to um, move forward and work on healing. Um, work on healing that inner child. Um, let's see who's coming in for you. Who's Virgo dealing with in love today? The Hierophant. Okay, so uh, could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody that you are committed to, whether either by a marriage or a long-term commitment. Um, what's the energy? Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is the energy that's coming in for you. Um, what's Spirit's advice here? Spirit's advice for our Virgos in love today. Spirit's advice. All right, the Three of Cups and Six of Cups. And the outcome of this situation. the outcome of Virgo's situation today. All right, the sun and the seven of cups. All right, your guys' bottom of the deck and what is unknown to you is the knight of cups, clarified with the magician and the two of swords. Wow, underneath that's the two of cups. Let's see what's under that. I mean, eight of swords in reverse. Okay, so we'll start with the energy that um, you share with somebody else but may not be known to you. So you're preparing to move forward offering somebody love or somebody is coming in for you. Whoever had the decision to make, a choice is being made and a new chapter is starting. A new beginning is here. Virgo, that is your card. So I do feel either you're dealing with a Gemini or this is your energy. You are the one making the decision to move forward and offer somebody what you have to offer in love um, wanting to move forward with somebody um, there could have most definitely been a third party here with the three of cups but you're making a decision to start new to start a new chapter um, after a completed karmic cycle because um, after the world you know is the magician so well after the fool but you know what i mean Okay, so your energy today is the Six of Swords, moving forward, moving away from a difficult situation where you may be bringing some emotional baggage with you, but you know that. That's where you're headed. You're headed to go heal the, those heartaches, all those swords. Um, you're deciding to heal an, your inner child. You could have had issues with your parents um, and as, as a child, as in like... Like you don't agree with the way that they parented you, so you were going to not be like that type of energy is what I'm feeling for some of you. But you're allowing your inner guide to move you forward. You've been listening to everybody else here with the Three of Cups. You've been listening to what everyone else was telling you you should do. Um, you know, not making up your own mind, but you've decided to move away from that um, energy. Who you're dealing with is the Hierophant. So this could be a spouse. Um, or a Taurus uh, for some of you, but this is somebody that you are legally contracted to. So either by a marriage or like a job, you're deciding to move away from that um, energy for now. Let's see why the Six of Swords is here for Virgo. The Six of Swords here for Virgo. All right, so you are deciding to move forward and find find your own stability. Find who you really are again. Find, um, you're moving forward and doing what it is that you want, Virgo. Um, you could have been afraid to move forward in the past because of your stability. Um, you could have cut a fire sign off um, from communication. You could have had a connection with them. Um, wow. So you could have 
you could have cut a fire sign off in the past. Um, could have been a third party situation, but it doesn't have to be. But you just cut off communication with them. You could have blocked their messages due to trying to save a marriage, um, due, due to trying to find your own stability. Um, but you are moving away from that energy. You are allowing your inner guide to lead lead you now. Why is the Hierophant? Who is this that they're dealing with? Okay, so you could, like I said, you could have been trying to work this out with that person, but you feel like you have done all the work that you can. You feel like it's not working no matter what you try. This did come out in the sideways, so that is a challenge. Like, it's a challenge for you to follow your passion because you feel like you have to stay here and work it out with this person. Or if it's a job, you have to stay at this job. Like, you're contracted there. There's no way you can follow your passion because you don't know how to break that contract. Um, but you are you are moving in an opposite direction. This person that you are connected to, whether it be through a job or a relationship, they are wanting you to stay and work it out. But I do feel you're moving forward anyways. The energy that's coming in for you um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this person is very sure of themselves. They're very independent, very um, like they've taken their time to really um, decide what it is they want. Now that they uh, now that they have done the work, they're not going to settle for less. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Very independent, very connected, very... Um, like, if you can't come at them with everything you got, then don't bother coming at them is what I'm feeling. And I do feel that's why you are preparing to walk away from whether this is a job or another person. I do feel that you have done all the work that you can. You have tried everything you could to try to save this, and it's still not where you want your relationship or your job career to be. Um, so I do feel you are moving towards this new person coming in for you. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, but this person is is uh, very tied to, to spirit, very tied to like the esoteric. You feel you could feel like you have a spiritual or a psychic um, connection to this person, a psychic bond to them as well like you're just drawn to them it's like magnetism you can't no matter how many times you you walk away it seems like you can't get past this person in spirits advice you have the three of cups and the six of cups so um why is this three of cups here most definitely go where it makes you happy go where you're going to you know be your happiest be able to be who you truly are um yeah and be truthful about that walk in your own truth because I feel like you're stuck here because you've been listening to what everyone else has to say. The universe is trying to show you the way um, and you are finally listening to your inner guide for a lot of you, um, but they're trying to get you out of the state of confusion um, and get you, um, yeah, it may create a tower moment within you and uh, the mother or father of your children, um, somebody that you've known since childhood, um, there's a lot of memories here, too, that you're having a hard time walking away from. But the tower only shows up when things need to be cleared out and you need to move forward to make new room for new energy. And um, it is it is calling for you to move in the direction that you feel you are going to be happiest. Because if you're not happy, what's the point of living life? Do what makes you happy, not what everyone else makes or not what makes everyone else happy. And you're going to see the clear truth to that. It may create a tower moment in your life, but it's only temporary. And it's only removing the energy that, that no longer serves you. In the outcome, you do have the Seven of Cups. So there's still some confusion here. Um, however, you are going to pick one cup and, and go forward with it. You are going to offer somebody this love that you have. Because it is in your shared energy at the bottom of the deck as well. Why is the sun here? Ooh. And you're going to step into the path that you're meant to. Your, things are being illuminated right now for you to be able to follow them. Uh, there's also like the need to do what it is that you want. 
There's a lot of push and pull in your life right now because what you want and what people want you to do are two different things. But now is the time for this new chapter. And look at look at the bottom of the deck and shared energy. Both these two clarifying cards are the same as your shared energy. Um, and you are making the choice. You are going to step into the path that is meant that you're meant to be on creating this new chapter, creating this new life. Um, and you are going to, you are going to choose who to give that cup to or what to put your heart into. Bottom of the deck is, uh, the six of cups. So you could be, um, offering your love to a past life soulmate. You are making the decision to, oh wait, sorry. This came out first. You are making the decision to cut away from one um, situation and move on to the next. Uh, the Queen of Swords is clarifying the Magician. So you have gone through this major transformation and you're ready to cut yourself out of the path, away from the past and move into that place of transformation and starting this new chapter because you now see um, what's going to bring you balance, what's going to bring you happiness. You've been very quiet about who you want to offer this love to, but you're not going to be quiet much longer because you are going to release the heaviness and the uh, what you felt re responsibilities that weren't necessarily your responsibility to carry. You are releasing that and moving into a more stable connection where you can build and grow, um, moving forward with victory, um, moving forward towards personal victory. And wow, next card out, victory. So I do see you um, making a lot of huge uh, changes here, Virgo, in the next couple of days. Let's see what your advice is for today. What is Virgo's advice for the day? One more here and I'll feel good. There we go. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. So every action, um, you know, has a, has a, it's like conscious action. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. You know how to go get it. Now go do it. Um, make sure you're giving gratitude to the universe for all the blessings in your life and it's only going to bring even more in it's time to um start taking action towards what you want virgos instead of what everyone else is pushing and pulling you to do because you, the path that you're meant to be on you know where that is your soul and your heart is telling you but you have to listen to it and you have to be grateful and thankful for the lessons and blessings that that you are experiencing along the way but this this what seems like a tower moment is only going to open up space for all these blessings to um, come into your life to um, begin this new chapter and to build this this um, life you don't even have to be with anybody else it's like you don't have to jump from one frying pan to the next but you have to be in your own path walking your truth doing your own thing that makes you happy and that's going to bring the right people into your life um, Virgo. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.